Good morning and welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is in fact a way of life. Gonna tend my bees on a hot sunny day unless all this rain gets in the way. <laughs> If you're ready for spring, you're in the right place because we're going to go do some beekeeping today, regardless of the uh, conditions outside. We're going to go into a couple of smaller boxes. Uh, a couple of guys got some fall nukes from me, and today is January 20 something. It's Saturday. And uh, six, mid 60s, drizzling rain. Not the best conditions, but the temperature's okay and it's the only time I have. So we're gonna go look at them, just make sure they're healthy, make sure they're still alive, ready for spring, and just kind of give them some guidance on what steps to take next. And so, come on, let's go look. What's the goal today, James? The goal is to see if I got a queen or a uh, brood, I guess. Things blooming, so you're gonna have to feed them because you got. You don't, I don't have to feed them. You do have to feed them. They're okay. At the, they're at the top of your box. By the time anything starts blooming, they'll enjoy. They'll be starved out. You recommend I put on a. They do still have some honey stores, but I wouldn't take a chance on them because. You wouldn't take a chance. It's warming up. They're gonna start flying a lot. Mm-hmm. They'll find a little bit of something, but I'd put a feeder on. I'd suggest not going in this because it's cross combed so bad. Okay. And wrong time of the year, and it's, of course, starting to rain on us again. Right. So okay. We know they're healthy. They're looking good. They just probably need a little feeding. And uh, that box looks good. And then I can put another super on top if I want for food. Yeah. But put another deep on top like he suggested. Mm -hmm. But I mean, through the winter, we took everything out of them because. Yeah. Oh, we got beans. This one looks about the same. We got a queen in here. Okay. He hasn't seen the queen in here like either, so. Really? Yeah. When did last time we looked? Well, he's got one. Huh? I yeah, see. he's got one because there's something's going in there. Is that working? It's got ants and beetles in it. Okay. <clears throat> Mostly ants. Recommend just leaving the sucker alone then. I got cross comb. This one's not cross comb near as bad as that other one, so if you want to look at it, we can real quick. Uh, why don't we just let her be? Okay. Because it's raining and all. I think I'd rather just leave well, well enough alone and you, you tell me. I think mean, we got a queen in there, right? You got a strong enough hive, so. 
this has been all winter like this, right? Yes. And you're not seeing a reduced number, right? We saw a reduced number about a month or so ago, and now the numbers are picked up, so something's going on. It's up. back up now? Okay. Yeah, it's starting to come back up. Well, then you got a queen in here, and I wouldn't worry about it. I'd just stick another box on them and start feeding them. I'll feed them, okay. I think right now food is probably the big thing for them, right? Yeah. Shirley's the name of this high? <laughs> I didn't even see the names on it. Yeah. Okay. That's Glenn. <laughs> Yeah, my, that's a, a, a fellow that I grew up with. Yeah. He passed away about a year ago. So put the name on his eye. Just for good luck. I was in the rain with no suit, Jeff. Back this a little wash off. We have the hives tilted a little bit. The hives tilted so water can't build up into them. Okay. And, uh, that works. That plastic pallet keeps the termites out of them. The, oh, the plastic pallet does good? Oh, yeah. Well, anything keep them off the ground, but the plastic pallets are good about keeping termites out of them. Okay. But you recommend just keeping both these hives here and not moving them because of the wetland? I would. I mean, you're already facing south. You got to good wide open uh, field in front of them and wetland behind them I keep them right here what was your other option top of the hill here yeah I keep them down here close to this wetland that was a quick look see in the rain with no protection that's how it's done <laughs> yeah, that's it Appreciate of, co of course of course we didn't dig deep if we had, we might have stirred them up a little more, but just popping the lids and looking at them real quick like that. And it's, what's it, 65 degrees today? Yeah. It's uh, not a bad day for it. That was it. That was a quick late January inspection. We didn't go too deep. I didn't want to really disturb them right now. They're still a small colony and about to get kicked off laying and building for spring. And uh, those hives have been unattended all winter. So just looking at them, looking at the numbers that's in there, we know they're healthy. They're not dying off. They likely have a laying queen i think he said they looked at them one other time uh, a month ago and one of the hives was less in number than it is now so we know we got laying queens in them that's all we need to know we just need to know they're healthy we don't need to go in and do a real deep inspection come spring when they start to grow they can uh, do splits on them if they want or need to and at that point they can go deep check them out and see what everything is in there kind of play with them learn all that good stuff so that was it it's the end of that